this exercise 5 time speed distance let's go through the question of this exercise question 19th a fills the tank at the rate of 60 meter cube per hour b fills the tank in 6 hours both pipes are open simultaneously the tank gets filled in 4 hours third pipe can empty the tank in 8 hours if all three pipes are open simultaneously how long will it take for the tank to be filled Okay, as for the question, pipe A fills the tank in. Okay, we don't know. So let me assume in X hours and its rate of filling is 60 meter cube per hour. Pipe B fills the tank in 6 hours. If both pipes are open simultaneously, the tank fills in 4 hours. So A plus B together can fill up the tank in 4 hours. A third pipe C can empty the tank in 8 hours. So, I am just putting minus 8 to indicate it empties the tank. Okay. If all three pipes are open together, how long will it take for the tank to get filled up? Now, this question can be rephrased. Effectively, the question is saying A plus B can fill up the tank in 4 hours. So, I can say A plus B is a new person called D. Let me replace A plus B with D. A person D can fill the tank in 4 hours. The person C can empty the tank in 8 hours. So, in 8 hours it will empty the tank. Okay. So, this is filling the tank. If D and C both are open simultaneously, if A, B and C are open simultaneously, how much time will it take? If you want to use the formula, you can use the formula by saying this will be 4 into 8 upon 8 minus 4. The difference of the two which is 8 for the 32, 32 by 4, which is equal to 8 hours. Alternately, you could say A plus B or D fills up the tank in 4 hours. So, that means it will fill up 25% of the tank in an hour. In 1 hour, it will fill 25% of the tank. And C empties the tank in 8 hours. That means in 1 hour, it will empty 12.5% of the tank. Or effectively, I can say, 12.5% of the tank will get filled up when all the pipes are open together. So, 12.5% of the tank get filled up per hour. That means to fill up the tank, I will need 8 hours. Okay. You can choose which of the two methods or if you want, you can apply the, the, the fractions also. Pipe A and B together fill one fourth of the tank in an hour. Pipe C empties one eighth of the tank in an hour, which is nothing but 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8. This will be 1 by 4 can be written as 2 by 8 minus 1 by 8. So, it is 1 by 8. So, 1 eighth of the tank will get filled in 1 hour. So, to fill up the tank, you will need 8 hours. Your choice which of the methods you want to employ. But effectively, this line was nothing but a waste of time. Okay. That be the rate of filling up of tank by pipe A was not required for this question at all. We could have done the question or we have done the question without that. This data was possibly given just to make our life difficult. And all it need to say that pipe A fills it at a certain rate. The rate out here is not important at all from the point of view of this question.